What is the proper response when faced with an unpatrolled open road while sitting upon a wacky looking German naked bike capable of more than 150 miles per hour? What about when you're lapping a racetrack on the same bike following a flying BMW test rider? Pin it, of course. A fellow might not have had that thought on many previous BMWs, but the Bavarian Motor Works are enjoying a strange transformation, dropping hard saddlebags as an option on several models and adding crazy amounts of horsepower across the range. From the HP2 Super Adventure bike to the R1200RT to the forthcoming R1200S Sport Twin to the pair of four-cylinder Special Kansas, power is on the rise sporting intent the new focus. It's not that all the hard saddlebags are gone, far from it, but there has been a sea change in company philosophy. This change has led to the K1200R Roadster, essentially a stripped version of the Hayabusa chasing K1200S. Aside from shorter final drive gearing, slightly more aggressive steering geometry and higher slash wider handlebars, the R is mechanically identical to the S. What do you think? Asked one of the German PR higher-ups. Are we doing the right thing with the R model? Hey, a naked bikepacking acclaimed 163 crank HP is fine by us. We got our first taste of the new naked in sunny southern Spain at the international press introduction. The surprise was that we rolled out of the hotel to ride to race resort Escaria about 60 miles away. Track time on a naked bike. But there we were after a high speed road ride, lining up behind X racer BMW test riders for follow the leader laps around the race resort. As you might gather from the name, this ain't Willow Springs Raceway in its dusty, cinder block, high desert glory. Ascari is basically a country club, with beautiful manicured landscaping and exceptionally finished paddock garages. The ladies locker room, I'm told, featured carbon fiber toilet seats, while the men's facilities boasted. Popori. Lunch at the clubhouse was fabulous. Apparently, being a Dutch oil magnate, so when the story about the track owner allows extravagance when it comes to motorsports hobbies. The sweeping 3.4 mile road course was built to FIA standards, features lots of elevation changes and a fairly high average speed. It was really about as suitable a racetrack as you could imagine for the K1200R. Except maybe for Talladega. Nonetheless, Attacking the track on a 516-pound bike with a 62.2-inch wheelbase seems at first glance to be a nutty proposition. But it's no more nutty than a 163-horsepower naked bike. So while being far from lumbering, a cut and thrust specialist the K1200R is not. Turn in response is reasonably quick, but you don't really get the feeling you could ever carve under somebody in the heat of battle. More importantly, the R resisted tightening its cornering line. Add to this vague front end feel a deep lean, making it hard to know what was really happening up there at the contact patch. The Hossack style Dulliver front suspension sports a mellow 29 degree rake working with 4 inches of trail. 4 degrees steeper and 0.4 inch shorter than the S.